So as you guys just saw, I somehow, somehow packed the new Foot Birthday Ronaldo in a marquee matchups pack and seriously, I'm still in shock. I'm still amazed. I know it doesn't sound it because it's currently 2am when I'm recording this but wow, I am very happy with that. I got right wing Ronaldo in a pack and... Yeah, without a doubt, that is my best pack of FIFA 18. In the comments below, let me know who is the best player you have packed in this year's installment of FIFA. Anyway, in this video today, we're going to be trying out this 95 rated Ronaldo and rating his performance on the right edge. I don't think we've had a right-sided Ronaldo card in FIFA since FIFA 11. Anyway, before we continue, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Comment below if you've tried this card, if you've been lucky enough to try this card, and let me know how it was for you. And also leave a comment letting me know which other players you want me to do a video on. So, let's have a chat about the in-game attributes. Like, seriously, where do we begin? Every column looks awesome in an attacking sense. So, um, let's just highlight some good stats. 96 positioning, 95 finishing, 95 shot power, 92 long shots, 90 heading, and 96 composure. This guy is going to score goals. I know you'll be surprised to hear that. He's also going to create them. 88 crossing for a winger is decent, and the 86 short passing, I'm sure, is going to come in handy. Every Ronaldo card in FIFA has great dribbling, and this one is no exception. This card's got 92 in-game dribbling, as well as 94 ball control, and... 89 agility physically look at him he's an absolute beast he's got 98 jumping and with him having such a high jump into that and being six foot one i am expecting him to win pretty much every header the 95 stamina means that he should last the full game with no problems and um yeah just an incredible card with some great in-game attributes Let's stop rambling and let's actually get into some games and see how he performs okay so let's see what we come up against in game one it is going to be a standard Premier League team with Ashley Young at left back. Okay. This is um, not what I was expecting in this division, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. It would be an understatement to say that I'm expecting Ronaldo to score plenty in this game. But now we're going to, and it's going to go straight to that man, Ronaldo, who is going straight down this wing. You've got Daily Blind at left back. He has no chance of catching me, nor does Christopher Smalling. And we're straight through, and we're going to score. No, we're not. Oh, Spina. I'm actually losing. I'm actually losing. Right, I seriously don't like this formation. And Ronaldo, look at that. He just cuts through with ease. Chance to score. Oh, as if that got blocked. As if that got blocked by Sterling. If he wasn't there, that was goal time. Ronaldo winning that header. And now we've got a chance. But what do we do here? Do we come inside or do we whip it in? We're going to cross this one. That's a great ball. That is a great ball from Ronaldo. And it is goal time with a nice assist from CR7. So we're going to cut inside there, we're going to cut inside again, we're going to bring it inside, oh what, I wanted to play on, I was cutting him up, oh there we go, the ball is gone, it's a chance, it's whipped in, it's Danny Welbeck and he really should have scored and he does on the rebound, Welbeck should have scored first time, but that's two back to back assists for Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay so half time in game one and we are 2-1 up, but Ronaldo is yet to score, here's a chance for Ronaldo, he's come inside, we're going to flick that in, bring it back, there we go. I'll cross that to the back post, and it's all. Sane should have scored. We're definitely not going to cross with Ronaldo. So let's give it to Ross Barkley. Let's bring Sane forward and hopefully get Ronaldo's head on this. He's got an opportunity here. It's Ronaldo! He has got to it! As if. We just brought him forward, brought him into a bit of space. He got his head on it. And the result, as you can see, is the ball in the back of the net. Very nice header from Ronaldo, looping over the goalkeeper. That is 3-1. Go, go, go. Go. You've got him. You've got him beat. You have him beat. Ah, oh, has he got outstrength by Cabaselli? But we've got the ball back. We've got the ball back. And that is a fantastic finish. That is a great finish. He gets his second goal of the game in the 90th minute. And that now certainly is game set match and that is full time a 4-1 victory with Ronaldo involved in each of them goals not a bad debut for CR7 but um the team that we came up against wasn't the best so I'm hoping for a tougher challenge in the next few games okay so we head into another game hoping for a much sterner test and I think we're going to get that but once again what is it with chemistry in divisions lately people just don't want full chem it's a pretty good team though We've got Inform Young and Mustafi in the side along with Inform Edison and a European Man of the Match one front as well as Bale and Ibra to deal with and Kevin De Bruyne. It's a solid team. Let's get into things and hopefully 
get ourselves another win and see what Ronaldo can do against a much better back line. I have to say, I'm not liking this formation because it's forcing Ronaldo out wide a bit too much. I want him inside because he's so effective when he's in an attacking area. Well, when he's more often in an attacking area. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause it and we're actually going to switch to the 4-3-2-1 formation just so we've got Ronaldo edging forward or just being a bit more central. The 1-2 down the wing with Ronaldo just works every time because he's so explosive. Once he gets that yard on a defender, is through, and look at that. That is a fantastic finish past in for Edison, and that, my friends, is 1-0. Great goal. Woo! Ronaldo! Oh, it's so easy. It's so easy with him. Great shot power. So right here is one advantage to having Ronaldo. Hoof the ball up, and he's going to win this header. Easy. And look, we retain possession from goal kicks in good areas. Oh yeah, here's, well, this is goal time, isn't it? Breakaway. He's not bringing his keeper out. That's fine, because we'll just power it past him with the shot power. So accurate. So clinical. 3-0. Hat-trick. And I think we know what that pause is for. Amazingly, he didn't quit. Oh, here we go. Head of time. Head of time. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, look at that. Through ball straight through the heart of the defence. And he's going to pick the pocket of Mustafi. In for Mustafi. Does not stand a chance. And nor does the goalkeeper. Very cheeky. Left footed chip over the keeper. And that is his fourth. And he's rage quit. Okay. The Ronaldo effect. Right then, what do we come up against this time? It is going to be... Oh, well, we know what this guy's plan is. We know what this guy's plan is. It's a very good team. Well, it's a decent side. But we know he's going to be passing to the Irish player to get some goals with him to complete some of this week's weekly objectives. But um, we need to watch out for that Gareth Bale. Oh, dear. You're in trouble now, buddy. Because Mascherano ain't got the pace to keep up with Ronaldo. He ain't got the pace to keep up with Ronaldo. And we're going to come inside. And we're going to switch again. And try... Oh, referee, that's a penalty. What? How is that not a penalty? Chance. Chance. Oh, wow. The keeper didn't even move. Look at that placement. Navas is just watching as it sails into the top corner. Oh, you're in trouble, buddy. You're in trouble. Oh, look at that. There we go. Another assist for Ronaldo. Oh, okay, here we go. Heaton bang this down the wing and Ronaldo's going to get right onto it. And look at this, we've got a scoring opportunity. That a long kick from a goalkeeper is so overpowered. And look at that. Look at that miss. I can't believe Welbeck hasn't scored that. And that, my friends, is another win with a goal and an assist coming courtesy of Ronaldo. Okay, so that's enough of the live games. Let's chat about my overall thoughts on this Ronaldo card. It's class. It's really freaking good. I knew going into the games that Ronaldo was going to have an impact. And simply put... He didn't disappoint. He's incredibly fast, and that's not just down to his pace, but also his top-class dribbling abilities. On the ball, he feels fluid, he's great for skill moves, and he's got the strength to hold off defenders when they come for him. His run making is fantastic and his general positioning is class, especially when in the right forward role. I did keep switching him in game to a right forward because I wanted to get the most out of him and he's a goal scorer so I did want him in a more advanced and a more central role. The passing on his card is great, the crossing was excellent and as you saw from the footage, he should have had more assists. The shooting, well you know... That was amazing. Simply amazing. Clinical finesses and powerful long shots. Goals were easy to score with this guy. Now, as much as I enjoyed this card, I have to say it didn't feel like much of an improvement on his previous versions, but it was fun using Ronaldo on the right wing for a change. And he's actually really good coming off the right because cross goal shots in this game are incredibly OP and he is great at them. In summary, this is one of the best right-sided cards on the game, but... Is it worth the coins? Now, we can all agree that spending more than 1.5 million on any player in FIFA is pretty mad, but if you do have those kind of coins to splash on a single player, you won't be disappointed with the purchase of 95 rated foot birthday right wing Ronaldo. But what I will say is, if you do have enough coins to buy this card, then you'll more than likely also be able to afford the 96 rated striker version. And if it was up to me and I was picking between using Ronaldo as a striker or a winger, I would go with the striker version every time. But um, still, this right wing card is awesome. Anyway, I still can't believe I packed this card. It was in a prime Electrum players pack 
from marquee matchups for those wondering anyway guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please remember to leave a like on it come on leave a like on this video just for that pack if not the review because you know what a pack anyway thanks for watching and as always i will catch you in the next one